I wanna share with you the day pack that I recommend to friends and family that comes in at under the $80 price point. Well, today I'm excited to introduce to you the new 2019 Mountain Smith Clear Creek 20 backpack. And for 2019, at $80 or less, this is my most recommended day pack. It has so many things going for it. I've had a chance to use it. My buddy Reuven behind the camera has had a chance to use it. And this thing has so much going for it at that great price point that if you're on a budget and you're looking for that good day pack that can really handle good loads, has a lot of great features, this thing I think is the one to look for. And I wanna show you why by breaking it all down for you today and taking you along as we hit the trail and showing you what this Mountain Smith pack has to offer. So with that, let's go ahead and get to it. All right, folks, so I'm gonna go ahead and give you some basic specs right out of the gate, rolling some beautiful footage, uh, trekking around, doing light day hike stuff the way that this pack is designed uh, before we really gut it out, show you what it's carrying, why, why I like it, all the little details that make this stand out from so many other packs on the market. Now, uh, this has a volume of 1,160 cubic inches, obviously a day pack. Uh, the sternum strap is adjustable, the belly strap is adjustable, we'll get to that. Maximum load weight rating for the bag is 30 pounds. Now, most other bags in this size range are gonna be around 20 pounds. Now, everything you see today that I'm about to gut out of this, I just weighed it, it weighs uh, 15 pounds with the water, with the gear, with everything in it. This whole thing weighs 15 pounds. So uh, that's what they claim. Uh, I haven't gotten it close to 30 pounds, but uh, I would say that the durability of the stitching and materials would argue that it could probably handle that load. Material-wise, would it be comfortable with this size of pack? No, you would. I would rather go with a larger pack that had a better belly strap and you know hip belt and all those type of things. Now the material this is made out of is 330 denier nylon double ripstop. So it's a double ripstop versus just like nat one level ripstop. Uh, this bag weighs one pound six ounces. That is its dry weight and it is hydration compatible that we'll see here in a moment. It fits torsos 15 to 19 inches. Now I'm 21 inches size torso with day packs. That's just a suggestion. It kind of gives you a general idea uh, with it. And then um, the uh, waist will fit 28 to 48 inches on the little waist strap that it has. So with that folks, let's go ahead and go through this bag in and out and show you what I'm carrying and why I love this little bag. And it's my recommended 2019 day pack for under 80 bucks. All right, first off, one thing that's super attractive to me with this design that a lot of other 18 to 22 liter packs just don't offer to you is this stuff pouch on the back of the bag. It has mesh on either side, so it has some flex. Very deep, it fits my outdoor research Ferrasi hoodie, my favorite all around day, uh, sorry, summer and winter uh, coat. Love this thing, stuff's in there easily. And then obviously if you don't have anything, so it would fit, you know, any rain jacket, you know, poncho, you know, anything like that, light windbreaker, will easily be able to stuff down in there. It's deep, it's really well designed, and I love it. Most will either just give you some little crisscross shock cord or nothing, and you just have to try and get stuff fitting in the main body. This gives it quick access, lets stuff dry if it gets wet. Just a really good feature that most other bags won't offer. In this day pack, budget friendly, if you will, size range. Now also on the back side here of the bag, we do have a uh, shock cord on both top and bottom to be able to handle your trekking poles, which is always super important, really helpful when maybe you're scrambling, uh, getting somewhere where you don't need the trekking poles, you're going maybe uphill and you don't really use them that much, but then downhill, you really use those trekking poles. Uh, it's a great option to have and that it has it on either side and you're not trying to, it, it just fits better. I like uh, packs that offer them on either side mounting versus just trying to jam them both on one side gives better balance to the pack now there aren't any attachments on the lower bottom that would have been awesome just to have a couple little like pals webbing loops uh, that you could you know wrap a little bed roll or you know attach a, another coat or a tarp or something if you wanted to on the bag that would have been awesome doesn't offer that but it does have this little cutaway here that you could attach like a headlamp or a little icon be beacon if you're using this as maybe on a bicycle uh, or you're just you know trekking with a lot of people and everyone needs to stay at night you know in a location or know where everybody is it does have this little attachment for for a light and that exterior uh, mesh pocket uh, will have a little drainage hole right there as well. 
As we move to the side here real briefly, we do have those mesh water bottle pouches. Now what I like is that we have the double rip stop nylon down here reinforcing the bottom and then mesh on the sides with elastic band, very thick double woven there. Easily would fit your 32 ounce Nalgene's, no problem. Uh, with the way the pack is designed as kind of a light duty day pack, I would say either go with the water bladder and then maybe just like a smaller, uh, like 20 ounce water bottle, something like that on the side, maybe a Gatorade, or you can easily do the 32 on some now jeans and maybe forget the water bladder altogether. So with ideas for you there, it's ambidextrous water bladder pouches or water bottle pouches. They'll fit on either side. Uh, there are on either side. And then you have ambidextrous uh, ports here as well for the bladder, which is really nice. And they're very large, easy to slide your bladder hoses through on either side of the bag. And for me, to have a, a really dedicated day bag, day pack, you got to be able to handle 32 ounce now jeans as an option, as well as being able to handle a bladder. It's got to be able to do either one so I can choose depending on how light the, the hike is or how quick the hike is or how aggressive it may be. I got to have options, you know, some day bags, they don't offer water bottle pouches or they're really narrow and they only fit the smaller ones, uh, or maybe they have the pouches, but the bladder system's kind of goofy and, you know, not ambidextrous and, and just doesn't really fit the, the way the bag should be used. So uh, I appreciate that this bag has good options for either dual water bottles that are 32 ounce Nalgene's or larger or water bladders if you want to go that way. So I want to take a brief time out from walking you through the pack just to give you a couple other uh, data points. First off, they do have a men's version and they do have a women's version. So those also will come in different color combinations, but the yokes will be slightly different. The sternum straps will be slightly different for the different body types of men and women. So uh, you can, when you're looking these up, look at which one would best be suited for you, depending on gender as well as uh, color combinations. And also we will have links in the description below over to backcountry.com and Amazon where you guys can pick these up really helps us out. I went out and purchased this. When you guys use those hyperlinks, helps me get out here and buy gear just like this, get out here and test it and give you these data points so you can make wise purchasing decisions when we're showing you about all the different gear that we have to offer and that we test here at the channel. So we really appreciate that. And let's go ahead and get back to the breaking down of this pack. Okay, so next up we have our admin pouch and that's running with two reflective, really good grab tassels, YKK zippers that will go about halfway down, which is really nice. And we have that admin pouch right here that gives you a little bit of a storage capability, organization capability. I have a bunch of snacks, some Tylenol, different things like that to get you up and down the trail. That could easily be a, a lunchtime meal for me uh, if I'm moving quick and don't have time to stop. So we have this kind of dump area right here with a little catch. You could get like a smaller tablet if you were using this as maybe a hauler, you know, to get to work or school or something like that. You could get a smaller tablet to slide in there. It goes about halfway down the body of the bag. Then right here, we just have another uh, medical kit not another medical kit, but another um, stash point that goes all the way down to the bottom of the pocket. And then right here, we do have another pocket that's mesh with a key keeper. So you can see through there and then three pen pockets that you can either put a really small, thin AAA powered flashlight or three different pens that you may wanna throw in there just for some simple organization if you're carrying it in different ways that necessarily aren't needing to be used on the trail and more for commuting or around town. Then as we move on to the main compartment, exactly the same large tassels, reflective YKK, that are gonna go all the way down to the water bottle pouch. So three fourths of the way basically on either side. So you can get a lot of access. You're not trying to like fight with the, the opening basically to get what you need. And in here, you know, I have a beanie and some gloves. You know, when you're hitting a, an Alpine summit, particularly here in the Rockies and you're maybe at 10,000, 14,000 feet, uh, down at the trailhead, it was 75 and warm, but up there it's 55 and kind of windy. So it's nice to have those. This can easily hold that. Then I just have a stash case that you could easily put, you know, like a, an action camera or a small point and shoot, you know, um, something like that if you're into some photography or you just want some sort of other item to take with you that you're gonna uh, use for the day. And then down here at the bottom, I have a my full size survival kit that goes with me everywhere. This thing is like a four pound survival kit. This thing is massive and heavy, but it easily fits in there. And that's got, you know, everything. We kind of went through it last week in that other video, but everything from headlamp to backup lamp to water purification tablets and hand sanitizer and battery backups and compasses and fire steels and lighters and 
uh, rain ponchos and just all that stuff, butt wipes, everything in between. So that easily fits down in there. That's a heavy load. So again, being 15 pounds total carry when I weighed this thing. Uh, that you've been seeing me on, with the, on the trail. So you've got some, definitely some space there. I love the high viz in there. And that's that's the one of the main things for me. My loads are always heavier because I, I kind of over-prepare. I'm always taking camera gear. So this bag at 20 liters has enough organization and layers of the external pouch, the or, organizer admin, and now this main dump that I can get a lot of gear uh, for such a small, if you will, bag and a great price point. Then you got this nice big elastic sleeve here. Now this is a three liter source bladder we again hit on that last week uh that would be max i think really the bag is better suited for a two liter that's what i would use uh, for most cases i just wanted to see if a three liter would fit it does fit it's got a little keeper there to hold it to make sure it doesn't sag as you um empty the bladder but it's right there at the edge and it's definitely taking up some space eating up some space that a, a two liter i think would be best suited uh for this bag but three liters can absolutely work for it and again ambidextrous bladder ports so then saving some of the best parts for last because ultimately a bag is just a bag unless the yoke system, the load carrying, the load bearing works well. You know, I mean, you could literally just throw a freaking trash bag with some paracord attached and haul your crap up a hill, you know, a canvas dump bag. What makes this a little bit different is that um, compared to a lot of other day packs that are in this 20, you know, eight, I'd say 22 to 18 liter size range, they really have gone overboard in density on the yoke system, and that's a great thing. So it, you can see it contours very nicely. You got this really nice breathable mesh all here along the back as well, so that's going to help just kind of help to um, alleviate sweat. It's on the whole back side there, but you can see how dense and thick these shoulder straps are. A lot of day bags are a lot thinner. They're like half as thick. So when you put heavier loads, and that's probably part of the 30 uh, pound rating that this has, you know, it's starting to dig in, it's biting in, it's fatiguing your shoulders because this doesn't have a dedicated like hip belt. You, it's all on your shoulders, you know, so it's got to be able to carry that well. And they really did a good job doubling up the foam, doubling up the density and really making this contouring S really ergonomic. You got double, um, or excuse me, it looks double. It's just a seam there. Uh, um, shock on either side just to hold your um, strap into place and your bladder into place that hose there. Now, um, another aspect that I really like, and I really hope Mountain Smith never goes away from this, is I prefer daisy chains like this over tracks. I just do, partly because you can remove them completely if you want to use it more as just a day bag around town or for commuting. I don't like sternum straps that are there. I like to be able to remove them, put them in the bag, and then apply them when I'm hiking and backpacking. So uh, I like this, and it really secures it. You find where you need it, you leave it, it never slides up and down. So I really like that daisy chain done really well. No way whistle there. That's a little surprising. Most companies, you know, they throw it on there. I, I have like three whistles on me, uh, but the sternum strap does not have a whistle, which is abnormal in this day and age. You have that D ring there, really good polymers all the way around. Really good, uh, here as well. That's going to give you, you know, a lot of, um, play depending on your body size. Now I'm 6'2 at about 215. And, and as I said earlier, I'm a torso height of about 21 and this fits great. Uh, you can see it on my body that it doesn't look, um, it doesn't feel small on me. It doesn't give me any hot spots or writing issues whatsoever. But you again, got that nice channel, really dense backing that's sewn in as well. And then finally you do have just that little belly strap that is completely removable. You can completely remove it and again, stow it away. Again, why I like that, that I could use this as a commuter bag if I needed to, uh, and really good dense, you know, straps again as well, keeping that bag on you. And I, I like that it does have even just that little belly strap. Some day bags don't come with that day packs don't come with it. And then, um, you know, it, it's just a little extra stability on your bag, giving it a little bit tighter to your body than without it. So th those are the features folks. And this is why all together, this all coming together at a great price point, great package and great durability, why this thing just connects with me on such a great level. Well, folks, there you have it. Just as I said in the intro, I recommend this to friends and family. You guys are a GT family here, so I'm recommending it to you as well. I do not think you'll be disappointed. I've loved Mountain Smith products for a long time, had a lot of really good uh, track record with their gear, and this one has a great price point that it's hitting and has the layout, as I've shown you today, that I really enjoy, that really meets a lot of needs for a lot of different people. So uh, if you're in the market for a day pack and you're on that budget, 
I think this is gonna be a great option and my most recommended option for that under $100 price point. So guys, thank you so much. Check us out on Instagram, Facebook, all the social media. Follow along with us. It's a great way to see what's up and coming. Subscribe if you're not a current subscriber. We're throwing up videos every single week. And always remember guys, stay equipped, stay prepared, and we'll see you out there.